True choice is the good. Love for the sinner, refuting the lifestyle, is the best answer to rage. And God favors those who turn to him in their time of need, and we are in that time of need. God bless our work. May he give open hearts this morning as we see and pray before the, this terrible abortery. May those going in be touched by love and by our support for them. And may Our Lady always protect us. Our Lady of Walsingham, pray for us. And the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christian people who have a deep love for mothers and their unborn children gather and call on the Mother of the Messiah in prayer to touch the sorrowful hearts of mothers who are losing hope. In their public witness to life, love and truth, they offer themselves carrying the possibility of a, of a different choice. Their prayers are from the heart and for the heart of all who have been touched by the cold finger of abortion. As they process in amenable formation and purpose, they cut a path with prayer to the needy mothers. Their prayer, filled with devotion and expectation, is that a life be saved, a mother spared great suffering and regret, and that staff of the abortion centre be enlightened to the beauty and humanity of the unborn child. Their prayer is that of healing for the mother, like Rachel of the Scriptures, whose child is no more, and gives rise to a flood of tears, tears of sorrow and regret. There is healing for even dry tears through a numbed soul, in a bid to hide the sorrow by wearing a mask of joy. Everyone knows that there can never be joy in the abortion of an unborn child, but few realize that reconciliation through Jesus Christ is not only possible, but is offered to them out of love. Oh, how these prayers, born in each step, call on the Lord to be at the side of the broken, who have lost hope and are in despair. The love in each stride moves the heart of the Lord's mother to touch in the way only a mother can touch the heart of an abandoned, abused and blinded mother of an unborn baby. In each stride, they have no idea if they will be resisted, ignored or welcomed by even one mother, by a single woman who is in desperate need of a word of consolation, a word of encouragement, to give a chance to her child, to bring hope to her future, to know that she is loved even if it be by a stranger. Yes, there are people in our very selfish and materialistic society who can love the stranger who will make an effort and sacrifice their time and money for the unknown and unloved, for the one who is in a crisis with her pregnancy and has no other choice than death and the sorrow that death brings. There are mothers that dearly want another choice, an option that fills the emptiness that looms so glaringly before them, called Murray Stopes. An option that gives life rather than the illusion of freedom. An option that does not lawfully invade and brutally evict her unborn baby from her womb. An option that speaks of love. Standing in front of the abortion center, they pray with beads of mysteries that tug at the heart of Mary, the mother of Jesus. They offer love and truth through the solemn words of hope and healing. For whether a woman is on her way in or on her way out of the abortion center, they offer themselves to her in love and for love, out of love for life. They offer information, advice, financial support, housing provision, and another option 
a different choice. They are the helpers of God's precious infants.